there, it's the 10th of June and things are beginning to cook up in the northern Indian Ocean again. Got a lot of convection over in the Bay of Bengal, but the system of interest is on the other side, right out on the limb of the Himbori 8 view here. The system is currently designated 93A, and the JTWC has a box of doom, as you can see, for a tropical cyclone formation alert. This is the latest infrared loop, and India is up here. The north is baking in obscene heat, as is in the Middle East. Uh, we've got the two big areas of convection in both the uh, Bay of Bengal and in the Arabian Sea. And this is the system that's really pumping up and looking like it's developing. So let's jump in with the global forecasting system model forecast. And you see the system on the left developing. It develops steadily over the next couple of days as it moves up along the west of India offshore. It's not really uh, impacting in terms of wind, just bringing rain into West India. But uh, it does approach very close to Gujarat, which is up here, this state. And um, it's also by that point intensified into what looks like a major hurricane strength system in this model forecast at least. So let's take a look at the ECMWF. Well, first of all, it does continue on and uh, goes along the coast in this model, uh, along the Gujarat coast. Uh, it's not clear that the center is actually making landfall, but it does move into Pakistan slow moving at the coast over there but that is a long way off the european center model is a little bit different it does not intensify it quite as much it seems to be taking the same similar track but it does make landfall more directly on gujarat so it is actually making landfall in gujarat um in terms of strength well it's actually uh tropical stormish it looks like um and then intensifying just prior to landfall. Difficult to tell with the ECMWF because it's only every 24 hours uh, output in tropical tidbits here. Let's take a look with Windy TV and this is the European Center model again. Um, this is actually from a prior forecast I believe from maybe six hours earlier initialized. Uh, so the storm you can see heading up and it is making landfall on uh, Gujarat and the time well that is Thursday uh, so later this week making landfall and uh, I mean with that kind of forecast you'd have to say it would be time to just in case uh, start getting prepared in Gujarat for the possibility of some very very bad weather um, and that's about all I can say about that because uh, we'll have to wait a few days for this forecast to uh, firm up Sea surface temperatures look like they are around 30 Celsius, uh, it would be 30 and 31 Celsius in the region of development. You see some cooler waters by the coast, but that is still over 26. It's like 20, even the blues are 28 because I've set the color scale to be squashed. Uh, so, yeah, it's plenty warm throughout the uh, Arabian Sea. And if we look at the differences from normal, you can see that throughout the Arabian Sea, the sea surface temperatures are mostly warmer than normal. Uh, it's between 1 to 2 degrees above normal in the region of development. The maximum potential intensity indicates that in the region of development, the uh, thermodynamic environment could sustain, under perfect conditions, a Category 5 hurricane strength system. Um, it does drop off as we get closer to the coast to category four because of the slightly cooler sea surface temperatures so it's very likely going to be a cyclonic storm tropical cyclone and naming well it's the next one after fanny so by you just a quick video from me this time um that's this is actually the latest from terra modis to finish up and there's the other disturbance on in the Bay of Bengal. There's actually uh, some dust up here. Uh, is that Pakistan or Iran? That's Iran. Hey. I honestly do not know. We can put on the coast. We can put on the borders. Oh, it's uh, Afghanistan and Iran and Pakistan. 
All right, uh, I'm going to put in a quick plug here for my previous video because it's got hardly any views and it was a huge amount of effort. Uh, a bunch of time lapses from South, South Island, New Zealand, so please enjoy. Catch you later. Uh, I'll post more on these this storm uh, as it develops later. Thank you.